Hey guys and welcome your lovely face back to another Just Course video. Now today we are going to be talking about the unsolved theory slash mystery, pretty much whatever you want to call it, in Just Cause 3. And it's pretty much about reaching the end of the map, what exactly happens. Now if you guys could be awesome and smash 300 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely amazing. And let's see if we can get down to the bottom of this myth, pretty much. Now, I guess it's something that probably a fair amount of people done when they got Just Cause 3. Now, me, to be completely honest with you, like, all the time I played this game, etc., like, I've never ever asked myself what happens when you reach the end of the map in just course 3, right? So then I went ahead and YouTubed some videos and they all had the exact same response, um, which is pretty much what you guys have seen in the background. Now, fun thing, there's a very fun thing about this because, like I said, you can see the footage in the background, I decided to go and do it for myself because in a lot of videos, when you get to a certain stage, you just die, like your plane won't cut out or anything like that or whatever the vehicle you have you simply blow up like you've exploded or something like that like I don't know it's very very weird so I thought considering I play this game on PC let's download every possible mod to technically make yourself invincible right like I done two invincible mods on myself like as crazy as that sounds like I tried two different ones and I got the exact same response now the weird thing is you can also see in the gameplay just to prove to you guys that I was using the invincible mod I shot some grenades and c4s etc and as you can see I am completely fine so that's when I was like okay let's just go and do this so I got in the plane and flew right down to the bottom now two very interesting things you get the warning message which you guys can see and you kind of just expect it to be that and then like I said at the beginning of the video you know the obvious you're gonna die or something's gonna cut out but the very weird thing is, right, in every single, like, person's game, it will happen to everyone who does this, right, the weather tends to change. Now, like I said, it happens the exact same way to everyone else. Like, it's not just one of those coincidence sort of things, because when I saw the YouTube videos and it got all thundery and stormy, I thought, oh, maybe it's just, like, their game. It wasn't something I took into acknowledgement till I watched a similar video, saw the same thing, read a comment section, etc. And that's when I wanted to do it for myself. And as you can see, the exact same thing happens. Now, the weird and cool thing about this, right, is it can literally have been as simple as that. Like, you just go there, you die, like, that's it. You're never gonna know. But I feel like the weather changing is, like, I don't know, it's something. I don't know what it is, but I feel it's something. Now, with that said, I thought it would be only right to go back to Just Cause 2, right, and see see if we get like a similar response when you do go to the end of the map. So as you guys can see, I am in my plane and flying as far as I possibly can. I've set my waypoint and when we do go past this waypoint, you just stay on the map as you do normally. Now the next thing I like that happened is something I didn't expect because I had my plane like as straight as can be, right? And I'm just continuing, continuing, really making sure it is staying as straight as possible. Like, even the slightest of turns wouldn't affect my direction, right? So, about five minutes forward, I decided to look on the map because, like, nothing's happened. Not like Just Cause 3, there's no warning message, there's no weather changing, no sign of you dying or anything like that. So I check the map and I start moving down the map, which is super weird because, like I said to you guys, I was going in a straight direction nothing could have put me in that position so the straighter you go it just keeps on going and going and going even though you know for a fact that you're not turning your vehicle you somehow end up on the complete other side which is super super weird so with just cause 3 it could have pretty much just been the same right because it's it's the end of the map but with just cause 3 
Wow, they really did change it because you get the warning message saying you're going to regret it. Again, it can go two ways of you just simply dying in the game, etc, etc. But I feel there's something more to it. I feel like the weather changing and that warning message genuinely is some sort of clue of some kind. And I've been, like I said, checking this out a lot on different videos, etc. Reading the comment sections and, you know, if they've just been pretty much saying, well, maybe it could have been in relation to the DLC when it was going to release, of course, uh, when we had the C and the Bavarium, etc, etc. But I don't feel it's that, because I feel there's something on the other side that is like some sort of clue to Just Cause 4, but I just can't exactly nail it. Now, don't get me wrong. I do kind of go in depth on a lot of things sometimes, right? And, you know, as fun as it is to do, sometimes it could just be as simple as it looks. But with this, I feel like there is something. And I don't exactly know what it is, but this theory is unsolved and there is seriously no way of, like, surviving that. Because it's weird, like I said, no matter even if you have a freaking, like, invincibility mod on or whatever, like, no matter how far you get, like, if the invincibility mod worked right, I'd assume you just keep going and going and going and chances are your game would crash or maybe the vehicle just simply cut out like in other games, right? And then of course without the mod, you simply die, but there's something there. I just can't quite nail it down. I got like a feeling that it's a sign that just calls four worlds. Like you're kind of going into a different world, right? And maybe the rainy and thunder effect. I don't know, like it could be given some sort of negative like vibe, etc. Saying that it's going to be like a freaking storm. Again, can go many, many ways, but I don't know. It's just kind of like a little clue, if you will. Um, a myth. Pretty much, because no one's ever going to find this out, bear in mind. So, I guess we can only see. But I want you guys to get in the comment section below and let me know what you think this is. Do you think it's as simple as it looks? Or do you feel all this weather and so forth is sort of some kind of, like, clue to say, don't go to the other side. Like, you don't need to go to the other side. They don't want you to go to the other side because it's not going to be good. Pretty much is as cool as that. But guys, it's going to wrap up the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, I hope you have a freaking amazing day. And adios amigos.